In consumer news this noon, some say cryptocurrencies are the future of the internet and therefore the future of the world. Yeah, they were front and center during the Super Bowl, creating a lot of buzz and a lot of confusion. Action News consumer reporter Nidia Han explains exactly what cryptocurrency is, <laughs> good, and yeah. how it works. Cryptocurrencies have gone from fringe to mainstream, but many folks still don't really understand what cryptocurrency is. So here is your Cryptocurrency 101. During Super Bowl 56, you probably saw this commercial. If you scanned the QR code, you got a promotion for free Bitcoin. It's like digital money. Some call it digital gold. Bitcoin has been the best performing asset of the last decade, period. Um, reason being, there is a finite amount of Bitcoin out there. Uh, there's 21 million. The idea for Bitcoin, the very first cryptocurrency, emerged in 2008. Michael Hearn, self-professed crypto king and host of Uncensored Crypto, explains what it is. The crypto part comes from cryptography and basically means that everything's scrambled up so that it's very secure and very private. Cryptocurrency is encrypted online, meaning it's locked with code to prevent unauthorized use. Unlike traditional money, it is not backed by any government or established entity. There's nobody in the middle, it's just peer to peer. You can exchange it directly with anyone, anywhere in the world. And in place of banks, an online community of users verifies, records, and manages it on something called a blockchain, which is an online public ledger made of code. And again, in the case of Bitcoin, there's only a finite amount, and no one can make more of it. So there are really intelligent people that are looking at assets like Bitcoin as a long-term store of value, as a hedge against inflation. Cryptocurrencies gain value simply if demand is higher than supply. And beware, they only hold value as long as people want it. But they do have high-profile believers, like Tesla's Elon Musk and billionaire Mark Cuban. Many do say if you don't get in on the action, you are missing out. I personally believe the wrong amount of Bitcoin to hold is zero. To buy or invest in cryptocurrency, you can use an exchange like Coinbase, which is the company behind the Super Bowl commercial. You can also buy it on Venmo, use a Bitcoin ATM, or get a crypto debit card through a company like Unbanked. Is we give people the ability to take the value of their assets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, a bunch of other different digital currencies, deposit them to a wallet that is paired with a Visa debit card. But considering the extreme volatility of the market... I'm a I'm not a millionaire. Both of these experts have a stern warning for newbies. You can face real risk and real, real losses. And so I would say always start slow. To put a very small amount of money in just to set things up and see how it works. They also say cryptocurrencies are best for investors looking for long-term gain, and you need to do your research. Much more information is on 6abc.com links. I'm Nidia Han, Channel 6, Action News.